Welcome back to Review and Brew. Today we feel like reviewing a nightmare from my childhood along with... Space Nugget by Lost Borough Brewing Company. All right, I'm excited too. At last, a real mission. Oh, give me five. What do you want, money? The film is about a frog, a turtle, and a toad. Captain Toad, in fact. He delivers pizzas for a living, but he's so sick of it. We've never been more ready for an adventure. Luckily, the captain, who doesn't know how to cross his legs, gets a call from his booze uncle. Hey, uh, Captain Toad, can you please deliver this parakeet please, down to the rat people? They want it quick. Captain Toad says, no problem, sir. We can get it there as quick as you need. 20 parsecs, 21 parsecs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't care. Just get it down that quick. So they try and deliver the parakeet parachute down to the rat people. They get a distress call from another ship. So they try and direct their sassy intestine-walled spaceship down to rescue the people. No sugar, Toad. I gotta watch my girlish figure. During this battle, they realize that this tentacle monster feeds off of energy, so they decide to blast it off its ass drunk with bullets. Apparently seems to work because they escape. They have just enough time to deliver the parakeet parachute paramonster down to the rat people, which is a hat. The end. I've probably spent the last three or four years searching for this. I remember as a child going into my public library and finding a VHS copy, and I was so excited because I was already a fan of the book series that this is based off of. But I remember bringing it home, popping it in the VCR, and being thoroughly terrified. This was so scary, like the puppetry, like it's so, I don't want to say cheaply done, but there's just something uncanny about them with their bloodshot eyes. Yeah, and... I mean, they, they try to gear it towards a kid's audience, mm -hmm. but the way that they're designed is it's not at all cute. The only thing I could compare it to is the Dinosaurs series. Mm -hmm. You remember that? I remember that show. That was a great yeah. show. And they were very realistic looking dinosaurs, but mm -hmm. they were also like, they weren't pleasant to look at. <laughs> That's how we growl on Rodentia. I was brought up in a sci-fi heavy family. I would watch Next Generation with my dad all the time, and I was a huge fan of Wesley. Shut up, Wesley. I, it was so relatable for me because Wesley is this young kid. He got a pilot a ship. It was super awesome. And I feel like this show tried to capitalize on that with the kid character. Yeah, the only human character in the whole movie is this young kid who's, you know, if you're reading the book series, you're like, man, I want to be that guy. He's <laughs> cool. He, he pilots an intestine spaceship. And this show references a lot of sci-fi themes. Yeah. Even the name, The Royal Frisbane. Of course, the uh, cards on uh, Beta Antares 4 are different, but not too different. Uh, the name of the game is called uh, Fizbin. 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 All right, that I didn't know that. That's pretty neat. There were also some other elements in this movie which reminded me of other sci-fi things, like Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You have the, the holographic image of the frog's uncle. That particular character was also voiced by Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, so. Right, so there, there's a lot of references in this which tie into mainstream sci-fi. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been a long-standing tradition, starting with even early Disney or the Looney Tunes, that if you have to drag your kids to the theater, there should be something for the, the parents. A little bit of entertainment, adult humor. And this film, no exception. You have the sassy talking spaceship. Oh, what? Sarah, what is it? Oh, relax, honey. Jack just gave me a little start is all. Sorry. Just be more careful and warm up your hands before you start digging around in my private life again. They're freezing! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Young people. <laughs> she speaks very sensually. And then they run into the MacGuffin ship who is a little bit more sensual in the way that he talks. Oh, yes. S.S. Stella, this is the heavy battle cruiser MacGuffin. And then they, they, they find out that they need to go to some kind of warp speed, but the only way that they could do that is by getting trash and stuffing it in the, um... Ships. The, um... Here's some dessert. Yeah, oh my. Open up. Yeah. Uh, um... um. Stella! 
you know, the ship's... Um... Well, at least Jack's cold hands uh, are keeping Stella awake and alert. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Can we also talk about the frisbin? Because the frisbin itself seemed kind of sexual to me. It's this little wangly doodle. And when the rat guy gets it, He's like, oh, I love it when it does this and it stands up. Excuse me. Oh, hello, you gorgeous thing. Oh, look, at, I put it on my head and, and it gets all erect and, and now the planets align. It's, it's coming. It's coming to a point. Because <laughs> wasn't he saying something like that he, at he the was, end? He like, was, like he, was. He, it was, it was overtly like, sexual. Oh, like, la, 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 la. Oh, it's getting what? there. And he's like, oh it boings God. around. Look at how it <laughs> boings. Even though there are a few adult jokes, this film is really meant towards a younger audience. It may be boring for adults, but you can tell they put a lot of work into making this fun for kids. You have the set design, the animation. Yeah, the animation is really where it stood out. The puppetry, a bit shady. But the animation was actually kind of cool. I, I like the tentacle monster. I like the robot who was taking the frisbee yeah, in the box. The, the whole scene where it's stop action, I was like, wow, that's really fun. You don't really see that too often. This movie really didn't have any nuggets of wisdom. It's a kid's movie. No, but we do have this beer, and if we do get one nugget out of this, it's Space Nugget. By this point, Pip and Kay had already imbibed past a recommended amount of intoxicants. The two had also failed to realize that Space Nugget has an astonishing 9.5% alcohol by volume. Space Nugget is an ultra-hopped double IPA that is a symphony of complementary flavors. Or as these two characters kept referring to as... Smarties. Smarties? Smarties. 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 Yeah, Smarties, absolutely. <laughs> This yeah, beer also has a pleasant great. warming alcoholic burn that is sure to soothe anyone who is exploring the cold vacuum of space. I finished the beer. It was a damn tasty beer. You don't really get this kind of flavor often. The movie, ah, not the best, but I would recommend the beer. If you like this channel, please subscribe to our Patreon. Give us a like, comment, whatever you want. If you hate us, definitely leave a comment because we like that. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. The master toads are kept in. In charge as he can be. <laughs> His lips are tight. His neck is stiff. He's driving us crazy. He flies our Stella through deep space as brave as brave can be. Whoa. Thank the stars. He's not in charge of the whole galaxy. <laughs> Terrific. Ooh, I hear you talking, darling.